If you're watching this video, you've been using Nebula's Model 2 emulator to play Virtual Cop or Virtual Cop 2, and you've been missing a lot of enemies. Uh, basically, your sights aren't aligned. Sega's factory settings may work okay for light guns, but uh, they, they really don't work that well for a mouse. So to fix that, you need to go into the test mode menu to calibrate your to, well calibrate your mouse basically. Uh, to do that, press the F2 button on your keyboard, and that should bring up this screen that you're seeing here. From there, you want to use your F1 button to cycle through options like so until you get down to the gun setting uh, selection here. Then press F2. All right, so we're in the next screen. And you would think that you would want to select this option here, Player 1 Gun Adjustment, but that's not actually the case. Instead, you want to go here to Player 1 Gun Manual Adjustment. Uh, just to show you what's wrong with the previous option, though, let's, let's go in there real quick and I'll demonstrate. Now, you'll see up in the top left corner of the screen there is a target. Normally, you would take your light gun, point it at it, and pull the trigger and that's how you would do your calibration but uh, instead we have a mouse so we'll take the mouse cursor which is instead represented by this uh, crosshair here and we'll place it at the center and press the left mouse button to fire and then we do the same right down here and the the uh, the arcade board calculates where your where the hit marker is in relations to in relation to your crosshairs. So you see, I'm shooting up into the left a little bit, but that's not really the main problem here. Uh, the the issue is that comes up that really affects your gameplay. Uh, that occurs when your cursor when your crosshairs move toward the edge of the screen. Uh, see how the hit marker is now a lot more to the right? Um, it'll it'll track that way, it'll track up, it'll track to the left, depending on where you are on the corner of the screen. It's just, it, it's not near your crosshairs. That's the biggest problem. You do not have full coverage of the screen like you should. So you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss a lot more enemies the closer to the edge of the screen you get. So to fix that, we want to go instead to player one gun manual adjustment and hit F2 to select that. Now uh, see the double arrows there right here that I'm cycling through these options. Uh, these four options, 80X min, 80Y min, 80X max, and 80Y max, they are uh, grid coordinates. Basically your x-axis which would run horizontally across the center of the screen like so, and the y-axis, which would run vertically across the screen. Now to start off calibrating, you want to go to 80 max, so use your F1 key to cycle to 80 X, X min, and then take your crosshair and just get it to the corner of the screen, of the, uh, screen where the black bar is. Uh, you want it to be right here, not over here, right here. Uh, that's because this is a 4x3 four, four game, it's not 16x9, it was made in the 90s. Um, they had widescreen back then, but this game was made for uh, you know a 4 or 3 standard CRT monitor. So this is where you want your crosshairs to be. Now pay attention to the bottom center of the screen, the text down there. Player 1 start, decrease, player 2 start, increase. They are your 1 and 2 buttons on your keyboard. You want to use those to adjust the uh, the hit marker on the screen. Uh, see the light blue hit marker? When I press 1 and 2, it'll go either to the right or to the left. So then you, you basically want to try to match it up as near as possible to the center of your, your uh, crosshair. All right, I'm gonna say that's about as good as it's gonna get there. Now I wanna go up here to the top of the screen, the 12 o'clock position, and I wanna hit F1, 
so that I go down to 80 Y min. I'm, I, I now moved over to 80 Y min. And I want to again use 1 and 2 to position the hit marker to about where I think it should be in relation to the crosshairs. And I think that's about good. So we're going to continue moving around the edge of the screen in a clockwise fashion. So that means coming down here now to the 3 o'clock position. Alright. And again, hit F1 so you go down to the next option, ADX Max. And again, use 1 and 2 to line up where your shot is going to land. Oh boy, come on. I think that's good. Now, finally, down to the 6 o'clock position. And again, hit F1. So you go down to AD Y max. And then press 1 and 2 to line up your crosshairs with the. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, line up your hit marker with your crosshairs. And I think that's about right. Okay. So we'll move this back to the center of the screen. And I, you can tinker with it a little bit. Um, I think this is a little bit to the right. So I'm actually going to go up to one of the X, X options. And boop, a little bit to the right there now. That's perfect, I think. Okay, now just watch. As I move it across the screen, the hit marker should just track just fine with the with the crosshairs. See? So no matter where you go on the screen, you should pretty much be about center with your crosshairs, which is what you want, you know? And that pretty much fixes the problem. Uh, the only thing left to do is to go down to exit, select that, do the same at the next menu, and then do the same at this menu, and then it'll put you right back out into Virtual Cop or Virtual Cop 2. Um, you can also do this in House of the Dead, but the uh, the uh, calibration method that I showed you, the, the first calibration method that I showed you, uh, that doesn't work for uh, Virtual Cop and Virtual Cop 2 will actually work for House of the Dead, but uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't really work for uh, Virtual Cop or Virtual Cop 2, so you want to use the manual gun adjustment. Alright, that's pretty much it. Have fun playing.